got my big old polka dotted pink umbrella out and my mismatched hat and my mismatched coat, but I'm going out to the garden and I'm going to talk about how I use hay in, the, in my garden. Okay, so this is true confession time. In my life, even growing up in the country here, I never knew the difference between hay and straw, and I use the words uh, interchangeably, as I think most people do. So the difference between hay and straw is, as I said, hay is the nutritious part. This is what you feed to animals, and when it composts down, it's gonna pull, push all that nutrition into the soil. Straw, on the other hand, is used in the farming for bedding for animals. Um, it's when you muck out a, a horse stall, what you're going to muck out is hay, is straw, sorry, see I did it, straw mixed with the cow manure. And um, that is, that, that can be great compost. Um, and straw can be good and can be used in the garden. As I said, some people prefer straw because they believe, um, they feel that it doesn't have the weed seeds in it or the grass seed in it. I will tell you, when I first used straw, it had plenty of seeds. And guess what? They sprouted but I did exactly the same thing. I just pulled them out and it was fine. Now, every year I get about 15 bales of hay, not straw, but hay um, delivered. And one of the things, uh, and I use it in a variety of ways in my garden. You'll notice that it's just sitting right out here in the, uh, in the weather and that's on purpose. If I were gonna use this for animals, I would definitely put it under cover, but I'm not using it for animals. I'm using it as a deep mulch in my gardens. So one of the things that is great about uh, using hay um, is that, especially if you let it get spoiled, Spoiled hay sounds horrible, but it's actually what I use in my garden. It's been sitting out. Notice here, you're going to see a lot of uh, fungal life. This is, these are mushrooms. Now these are on the way down, but you'll notice that all of the hay bales, there are some sprouts. And that to me is a wonderful sign uh, because that means that the hay is nutritious and will support life. See all of the fungal life here um, on this. You might get a little grossed out about touching mushrooms. I'm not grossed out about it because I see them as good friends. Um, so I use this hay uh, when I get it delivered, probably in about October or so. Uh, and I have a great farmer uh, who grows the hay for me and brings it to me 15 bales at a time. It's very economical. Hay in this area, this hay is really prime. Uh, it is. Ne it has never been sprayed uh, by any kind of chemical. Uh, he only hays once a year, and uh, so his fields are quite healthy and not overworked. And the, it's mainly uh, just the, I believe, oats or grass. And it also has something called vetch in it. Now vetch, oh, now see, vetch is actually good because it's got a lot of nutrition in it. Hay is, in my view, preferable to straw. I have read a lot, I'm no, no expert, but I have read a, that hay has the nutrition of the grain. And so that is an extra added benefit to me. Now here's my garlic that was planted in the fall in November and it was planted into a deep mulch. Now I will come back and add some hay on top of this just to keep the layer, oh, about maybe four inches high as this grows. But I don't wanna crowd this out just yet. But you can see that this has kept it completely weed free um, and it's kept the soil really rich. The huge benefit in my view of using, well, any kind of organic mulch, but hay in particular has been great for me because it adds nutrition into the soil. It's not like straw. Straw is gonna add organic matter in, but hay is actually going to release a lot of the nutrients um, that it gets. At least that's what I've read about. So these have grown really well. These garlics are gonna, getting ready to take off now. Uh, they overwintered just fine. And over here, are some Egyptian walking onions that I planted from the teeniest, tiniest little bulbels. And these are, these I just plunked right down in the hay and they are starting to take off now and they will become very prolific. Now I will confess that I also use other mulches. Over the winter in my garden, I 
mulch with ground up leaves um, over top of a layer of compost. So you can see that. But I will also use hay on occasion there as well. When you're ready to plant something new, you just pull the hay back like you would any other mulch and just plop, just plop whatever your little plant is in. As the plants grow, then I'll pull that hay more around them so that they'll have a mulch covering. In the summertime, one of the huge benefits, in my view, in my area, where it can get extraordinarily hot, is that hay and a good deep mulch helps to cool the soil. Um, and that really helps plants not get overheated and become more productive. I'm convinced that's one of the reasons why my garden was pretty productive in the last uh, couple of years. When I first put the hay down in the winter, this mulch pile was about, oh, eight inches high. And you do wanna keep piling it up and keep it fairly thick uh, to keep the light out um, and the soil cool. Now, if I were to come, and right now it's probably more about mm, three inches high since it has come down and composted some and settled over the, over the winter. I will come back through and I'll add additional hay. That's why I have these bales sitting right here. Um, that will go down, be broken up, and go down. And what you do is you just break up the bale and you loosely scatter the hay all over the top. So if you learned nothing else today, maybe you learned the difference between hay and straw. You don't have to correct people though. Most people just use it interchangeably, but for me, hay is the way.